What's up everybody? Welcome back. Back in the basement after uh, two weeks worth of Comic Con episodes and uh, we're just about finally relaxed after that. And Although none of us have seen Steve since Comic Con and if you know where he is and you've seen him, just please tell us to call we missed him. We're putting him on the back of milk cartons, man. We, we put him on the back of milk cartons, signs, uh, he's plastered all over Williamsburg, no one knows where he is. No, no one. Just right here. Oh, thank God for this camera. Okay, please work, please. Please work. Oh. oh, it worked. All right. Hey guys, it's Steve from the basement here. Thank God I found this camera and this light. I don't know what I do. I don't know. All I remember is I was at the convention. I was talking about Spider Man, and he gave me some candy. And then I don't remember anything after that. And then I ended up here. And boy, the weird dreams I had, I'm not going to even tell you what they were about. But I was up for a couple hours, wondering where the hell I was. Thought I, I thought maybe I was paralyzed. But I did come across these comics, and I've been spending hours, actually days, touching them, trying to figure out if I knew what they were, counting the pages think that maybe it'll eventually turn to braille so I can figure it out. Needless to say, I was wrong. Very wrong. It's The Walking Dead by Robert Kirkman and Tony Moore. Great series. It follows a, a cop named Rick who gets shot in, into a coma, and while he's in a coma, the world is infested by zombies. And uh, when he comes out of the coma, he realizes what's going on. He sets out to find his wife and child who was protected by a friend, cop friend of his, and he, went, he goes out to find them. And when he finds them, he finds the, all these other people who are also in hiding from the zombies, and then they form like almost like a communal family type of thing. And it's really good, and then they set out even further to find food, and they send this guy out for food. And uh, it's, a, you know, it's a really good story, really good story. It's still ongoing, there's plenty of trays. And uh, Adam really turned me on to this. It's a uh, great art, great writing, great everything. And uh, wait a minute, now that I think about it, it, must be strange that a comic book that Adam recommended to me is here. I wonder if that explains where I am and why I'm here. Hmm, I really hope not. Another book I found, Books of Doom, which is what Pete recommended to me. Hmm, another clue. But Books of Doom is, is superb. It follows, obviously, Victor Van Doom, life growing up at Latveria, then eventually the death of his mother, the eventual death of his father, him going to America as a scientist, going back to Latveria to take it over and depose the king, and, um, and then eventually becoming a madman. It was a really great story. I recommend it. Beautifully drawn. The writing is great. Brew Baker, as Adam would say, kills it. Just a great, great story. And uh, if you could find it, get it. And then cherish it. And then read it again. Another thing I found in the dark was this little book, which is Filler Bunny. It's a great little book. It's a... Uh, really small size, but it's funny. Vasquez is insane. In a good way. But in, a, in a purely good way. And this particular one, if you can find it, is only 225. That's like uh, 45 nickels. The low, low price of 45 nickels. How could you go wrong with 45 nickels? What'd you say? What's that, sir? That, co that comic only costs 45 nickels? Sold! But, uh, I think that's it. Um, I really hope, I don't even know how I'm going to get this tape to somebody on the outside. I might have to just hold on to it and wait, which if I'm going to do that, then this is kind of pointless, but I don't know what I'm going to do. But if I don't make it, at least they find this documentation of these comics that I reviewed. And, uh, I just hope uh, everything works out. I hope I return somehow to the basement. But guys, Pete, Adam, Ramon, if you find this, 
Please help me. I don't know where I am. I'm not sure of my longitude and latitude. But just, you know what I'll do? I'll just start screaming. Follow the screaming. All right, ready? Here we go. Help! Steve, where are you? And if you've got hookers, can you come back with them? I love you, honey. Please don't, don't watch this episode. <laughs> We got three weeks worth of comics to cover, and uh, we're going to try to blitz our way through this as uh, fast and painlessly as possible, just giving you the uh, the ins and outs of all the, the really important stuff that you needed to see. And uh, I guess we'll start with something this week was uh, Iron Fist 14 mm -hmm. finally concluded the Capital Cities of Heaven arc uh, really well, I might add. Dude, uh, um, this was like... I'm what a trade. You're a uh, fucking you're a devil, fool, man. Yeah, this, this is like seven books. I mean, dude, listen to me. This issue oh, was wait. like, what if Jesus and Awesome had a baby, and that baby shit little solid gold muffins? <laughs> it was the baddest fucking. It's one long fight scene. How the it fuck really can is. you like that? How the I, fuck? I'm not you? saying I don't like it, but I'll just wait listen. for it to be all collected. Okay, listen. Then I'm, I'm going to show you one scene. Issues. I'm going to show you one scene that makes you a fucking retard. Just one scene, and you had nothing to do with it, except for the fact you didn't read it, which makes you a fucking retard. If I can find it. I'm curious to know what scene this Seriously. is. Seriously. This but is the so scene where the rabbit shit gold baby muffins. What do you think? I came up with that by myself? No, you did not. That's, uh, that's very true. Uh, it's, in, it's in here. Uh, well, Adam's here. here. No, found it. Ha, ha, ha. This scene right here, <laughs> fan fiddly fucking tastic. Um, what other comic book has the following fight moves? 88 Son of War, Choking Wind, Stomping Giant Slap, Bastard's Black Heart Crusher, Mistress of All Agonies, Hell's Last Tsunami, and they're all like labeled like something out of Street Fighter. No, it's like Mortal Kombat, man. Mortal it's really, Kombat. it's awesome. You're a fucking fool for not buying this, and you're a fucking fool if you haven't bought it yet. Do not wait for the trade. If you just cop this issue for the ass kickery, you will have succeeded in your life. But you know what? Kung Fu like has crazy names for moves like that. Like the White Ape offers a cup of tea. I swear to God. So what do you, what do you make it some sort of a? No, I like, did. You call me a fucking ape? No, not at all. God. You'd possibly be a silverback if you were an ape after all. I, would, I wouldn't argue that, and I think my wife, who's seen my gray, hairy, silver shoulders, would actually agree with that, too. Mm, love the image. No. You're going to go home loving that. Don't Ooh. act like you won't. I know you. You're a Randy. Honestly, uh, we, we all felt like Iron Fist was uh, kind of dragging out, and it just totally made up for that double-sized issue 14, and the arc including, and there's a couple of brain tw teasers in there that uh, you know that they're going to start off the next arc pretty strong, and... You know, they got a lot of story ideas. We're just waiting. The to one happen. thing I would say uh, is that this was the end of uh, I think Brew Baker's run. After this, mm -hmm. it's just Matt Fraction. I'm a little hesitant. I've read Matt Fraction's solo books, and sometimes he just gets a little too bug fuck crazy for his own good. Basura. Uh, he, we'll find out. That means garbage. He learned it Spanish. Yeah, um, back in high school. I, right? Immortal Iron Mr. Fist. Mr. Frank, you're awesome. Go on. And dead. Do you feel better about He's that? He's not dead, you man. Don't know. Listen, it, stuffed and put in a chair is not the same as being alive. This is why I need Steve here. Sure. This is why. Um, <laughs> Immortal Iron Fist, it, it, is, it is the end of an arc with an exclamation point. <clears throat> we highly recommend it. Yeah. Uh, moving right along, we have Speaking a book. Speaking of things we highly recommend, uh, Thor Ages of Thunder, man. Great book, and if you didn't read it, you're a retard. Yeah, if you missed this one, you I missed it. a what do you great think I didn't Thor read it? story. I read it. You didn't buy it. I didn't buy it doesn't mean I didn't read it. I, I, I this is a bloody it. fuck book, man. This guy's hammer goes through more fucking troll heads this issue than I've ever seen yeah, it's ever. Sweet. And uh, his you would think he's got other, a his other hammer goes magma. through a lot of blunt heads, if you know what I mean. Yeah, right? yeah. Thor is oh, straight up pimpiness. Thor gets super pooned throughout yeah. this entire fucking book, and chops off heads, and there's some sort of weird mm. brothel thing with the blonde and giants. And tr truthfully, this is a mad fraction book. There's a lot of very weird shit that happens in it. You know, this is a standalone book, and it's it does con it does uh, say to be continued at the end. There's going to be other one uh, standalone one shots that are going to go that are going to coincide with this, but you could easily pick it up just.